Welcome Clifford fans to the game tonight. It's going to be a great season. Let's get it going. We're here to give you what you want. Here to give you what you need. Here to give you what you came for. Came for. We came here to rock right now. Yeah, we came here to rock right now. This is game one. This is the season opener. The battle of the lake is real, people. Super hyped opener between the Lakers and Clippers was a forgettable one for King James. LeBron scored 18 points on 7 of 19 shooting, the third lowest field goal percentage in a season opener in his career, paging Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. What do you need to see from LeBron in tonight's game against Utah? Max Kellerman, <clears throat> I, would, I, would, I would ask that you allow me to speak emotionally for just a couple of minutes here. God. Uh, let, me let me say this. Let me say this. Know what I want from LeBron James? Keep the same intensity. Please don't lose the intensity. Let me imitate Michael Irvin. Keep the same intensity. Keep the same intensity. The same dude that wanted to be passive and a virtual no-show with Kawhi Leonard opposite him at the Staples Center Tuesday night. Make sure you that same dude against Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley and them tonight. Because then maybe it'll be more believable that you focusing on just feeding Anthony Davis and getting him more acclimated to things and getting him involved. But if you're not going to do that, and all of a sudden we see the LeBron James we expected to see Tuesday night, then you're going to have folks like you, like me, like others, sitting up there saying, wait a minute. Were you just that way because Kawhi was, on, was opposite of you Tuesday night? You don't want that, LeBron James, do you? No, you don't want that. Never that. You don't want that. Of course you don't. Because here's the deal. I am sick and tired of folks acting as if the fans don't have a right to crave and salivate for something and have requirements for you to validate your greatness. No one with sense would question the greatness of LeBron James. LeBron James, to me, is on the Mount Rushmore basketball. LeBron James, to me, is one of the greatest players to have ever lived. But Tuesday night was emblematic of why so many cats out there throughout the years have questioned whether he belongs there or not. Never because of his ability. It's because of this. Right here. Right here. It's because of this. When it really, really commands that you do that. Here. Kawhi, I'm going to repeat to the national audience. Kawhi Leonard, I watched the New Balance commercial about five times last night because, damn it, they kept playing it. It's so good. Okay. And this brother, and I miss, I can't believe I missed it until Mark Spears came on the show yesterday and pointed it out, Max. The brother had a key to the ignition of his car with a crown on it. Mm -hmm. With a crown. The key, to, the, the key to the ignition had a crown on it. It had Kawhi Town, Kawhi Land. It said, I'm coming. It was clearly a shot at LeBron. It was clearly. Now, maybe it wasn't Kawhi. It was New Balance. But it was clearly trolling LeBron. All I'm trying to say is don't tell me in all my years, and I'm going to remind everybody, I have now been covering the NBA. I am in my 25th year. You understand me? I've been covering the NBA and he's as a backup or now as a beat writer, as a columnist, as a general columnist, a commentator, whatever, radio host, everything, for 25 years. And I have never seen somebody get trolled and somebody act like, no, that didn't happen. It happened. It happened. And all I'm saying is if you, LeBron, there's nobody questioning your greatness. But we came out there Tuesday night. And we were hyped about the Lakers Clippers because we were hyped about LeBron and Kawhi. Mm -hmm. And one dude showed up and said, I'm here. The other dude said, ah, it's not that important. And I'm saying, in reality, it might not be because it's just one regular season game. But damn it, it's important to us. And I know it was important to Lakers fans that was at Staples Center, even though it was a Clippers home game. I've been trying to tell people that Kawhi is the boss. Kawhi runs the NBA. It is not – when he was – I will tell, tell you again. When he was 21 years old, he won the finals MVP because of the defense he pay, played on LeBron. Of course, LeBron was the best player in the series, but Kawhi was on the winning team, and his defense was the difference. And he got his offense going late in that series, too. He went to Toronto. They won the chip. 
and think of the gauntlet. Like the, 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 he, he had to go through Embiid and Simmons, the freak, and then the Warriors without KD and ultimately Clay. But of course, no one was going to beat that team fully loaded. And now game one of the season, he gives it to LeBron and then gives it to the Warriors. He's the boss. So when you say, when you say, Stephen A, that like, what do you, I, I better not see aggression from LeBron, what's he supposed to do? If your criticism is correct, that he needs to be more aggressive, then he should. Because I'm here to tell you, he doesn't want it with Kawhi. He is not that kind of player anymore. He is older. He has to compensate for a decline physically by being smart, which he is. You know, one of the ways he does it, he doesn't play defense during the regular season although his defense was more active game one, so he could turn it on in the playoffs. He picks and chooses spots to remain a highly effective operator as he ages. He doesn't pick one-on-one -on -one battles with the baddest man on the planet. He just doesn't do it because it's not – like, why would he play a game that's not winnable for him? He can't win that game. It's not because LeBron at his best isn't better than Kawhi at his best he was was this is no longer LeBron at his best and it is Kawhi at his peak and right now Kawhi is just better about, so against about, Utah about, you can be aggressive about, first of all I'm not sold on that I'm not sold on that number one number two I ask you this question Max Kellerman you talk about LeBron at his not at his best what happened and I ask a sincere question to both of you mm -hmm. you watch basketball Molly I'll ask this question what if LeBron comes out there and against everybody else, he wreaks havoc, and he's LeBron. Then it's not a matter of what he can't do because of age and Father Tom, because I don't believe that. I, believe, I don't believe Father Tom has caught up to LeBron James yet. I believe that LeBron James is still great. He's still phenomenal. My problem with LeBron James is one thing and one thing only. He was passive when the moment called for anything but. And what I'm saying is, don't, don't tell me that. You don't, don't believe he's getting Anthony Davis involved. You believe he didn't want that smoke with Kawhi. No, what I'm saying is, I'm not even saying that. I'm saying that's how it looked, Molly. I'm yeah. not accusing Wait, LeBron so both of anything. For you. I'm not accusing LeBron of anything other than what I saw. I'm not, because I'm not giving him and his team the Rich Pauls and Maverick Carters and everybody else. Adam Meddleson, let's not forget him. Let, I'm bringing them all in. I'm not, I'm not giving any of them an out. I am not speculating about anything. So I that. am saying I watched a basketball game Tuesday night where a superstar who's a reigning defending champion who's who essentially called out the king showed up and said, I'm here, assisted by the Clippers who had him grab the mic. This is a man that doesn't talk. Kawhi, did you, did you know that Kawhi Lennon could work for the CIA? Easily. Easily. He never says anything. But somehow he grabs the mic. He speaks to the audience. He says, I'm here. This is my town now. And let's go. And LeBron did not what respond did I say? Hold to on. that challenge. So That's are what I'm you saying. ready? That's what I saw. So you should be ready, rather, to admit that when you flipped out the other day, maybe was it yesterday, and you acted like I was crazy for saying the following. In fact, you're coming around to my way of thinking, which is... It has the look that Kawhi took LeBron's heart. That's the problem with him being passive. I'm not saying his heart is took. I'm saying it has the appearance of it yeah. if he doesn't but, answer but, the bell for my, that challenge. But my disagreement with you is that you were acting like any time LeBron James has gone up against Kawhi, that's what we're seeing. I'm saying no. I saw that Tuesday night, but you can make the argument I was trying to get Anthony Davis involved. I'm simply saying that may be true. I find it unacceptable. If it's the opening night of the NBA season, there are 82 games to go. You've got Utah coming in Friday night, yeah. the Charlotte Hornets coming in on Sunday. There would have been nothing wrong with you saying, excuse me, let me handle this right here, please. They must have forgot, and they didn't do that. And that's my issue. That's it. As a fan, I claim it for it. You saw the Kawhi commercial New Balance, the tagline, we got now. And when he says Kawhi Town, this is my city, he is question, from quick, L.A. Quick question. That's this right. This is his this, city. This, I forget which, that which, in which, all which, of this. Which, 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 by the way, what time about? It's oh, no, 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 listen. It's his world. Hold on, hold on, hold on y'all. A caller called up to my radio show yesterday and said, Stephen A., have you ever taken into consideration 
Kawhi wants it more because he's from here. Yeah. Just like LeBron wanted it, even though he was in South Beach, mm -hmm. he went back to Cleveland. Kawhi was in Toronto. He's finally arrived in L.A. Yeah. He might want it all because he's from this town, yeah. and that might be possible. All I'm saying he is... Did he not, he's not from Toronto. He got it all in Toronto. No, 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 no. He was saying no, that leaving Toronto No, but there's so much Toronto history, family. Here. Oh, yeah. Of course. He wants here. He of course he no, wanted no, here. And his late father was a more. Laker fan. Not only... You're, no, I agree more. with that. Not only know. does he want it here, but he preferred to compete against LeBron. Yeah. Think about the, think about the optics. LeBron's like, come play with me. He's like, no, I'm not going to play with you. I'm coming for all you. All I'm saying is this. All of y'all out there, people need to get a life, and, 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 and all of them need to get it too. As fans, why was TNT there? Why was this the entree for the opening night of the NBA season? Everybody's acting like we don't have a license to look forward to this stuff. This is why everyone was hyped. For this game. Yeah. No, for sure. All right. We'll leave it there. Uh, next on First Take, guys. This next topic is very interesting to me about Tom Brady. We're going to dive into all of it. One of the guys here says Tom Brady may be reuniting with the former teammate next season, but it won't be in New England. What is really going on? We'll get into it.